Hey everyone, I'm here today in Piedmont, Alabama with my boyfriend and uh, this town's got a lot of history. Uh, it's, it's a former mill town, it's actually dying. Um, town leadership made a bunch of bad decisions after the, after the mill got shut down and everything. And, uh, there's just a lot of interesting places and stories behind each one of these places and there's a lot of mystery around this town and just kind of the people in it and uh, the population has dropped a lot in the past 20 years or so and the town is just really um, there's a lot of abandoned stuff around here so I wanted to kind of take a day to explore and show you guys some of this and uh, be warned ranting about this town is uh, one of my boyfriend's favorite activities so don't be surprised if he does most of the talking today but Anyway, here we go.
say that only because we smelled gas. But there's this old restaurant. It's been, how long has this been sitting here? About eight years. Hmm. Been bad for about eight. Yeah. That's about where the TV used to be. Wish I could have seen it while some of the stuff was still on the walls. Hey, there's one of the windows still intact, or two of them. Yeah, I saw the bar there. It's pretty dark back here. I got to bring my to bring a headlamp, but. Since I noticed the step door was open. Hmm. And it's still just open. And I think the power is still on too. Really? I think. The service is still hooked up. They may have power on the meter, but this building still has electricity, I think. So I don't see the switch. <laughs> I was gonna try it, but. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what this was. I can see this big spot where the stove is at. Yeah, I see the utility sink is still back there. Nobody's been through here in a long time. And there's a lot of mold in here, too. Looks like it. No. It's just kind of walking through. Oh, yeah, the floor back here sank in. Can't really see it on my phone, but I can see it back there. It's like a rag or something. I don't know if that's blocking an opening or where a pipe was at or what. I'm about to get out of here because I don't want to be inhaling that snow. Three years. I like the wood. Oh yeah, I mean it looks the thing is this place was built back before I left high school. Back in the 90s. And then it I like the way the ceilings are made. It got shut down. And then they reopened it again back when I was back here after like 2008. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know what happened. That's just the bad thing. stayed open for several years and then just shut down. Hmm. And then I think something happened, like it got vandalized or something. Yeah. And they just Somebody probably tried to steal the copper out of it. They or... just never reopened it. It's crazy to think that it wasn't either, because it it looks like it. <laughs> it looks like it was built in like the 80s. But <laughs> it's maybe the, the structure is maybe 20 years old. Okay. Maybe it was redone at some point, but it's been here working on getting access to this mill over here so that I can film it for you guys. And nobody wants it. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. He was poking his head out from there and watching you. <laughs> You're making a mess. <laughs> yeah, this door's not padlocked either. There's only a padlock on the back door. On the door that's labeled no trespassing? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's one door at the very back labeled no trespassing and say what? Oh, it does? Oh, okay. That's so... Let's see if I can get across here. 
Yeah. Another little building back here. Started telling you guys earlier this was an old mill town and I just mentioned a minute ago I'm going to try to get you guys a look inside the actual mill itself before they destroy it completely. There's nothing much in here. Feels like it's concrete flooring. Thankfully, old letters and an old sink and table. Yeah, there are a lot of places like that in this town that the people just refuse to tear down. They're just sitting here rotting. back to the side with the actual brand new lock on it. Yeah, it is still hooked up and everything, huh? This the, is the inside the, of the, the bingo hall. The building could house it's like several thousand people yeah. at once. I think near to the population of the town. It just now they reopened it recently and shut it back down just as quickly. <laughs> yeah. And so now the whole thing is just empty and it's just one big huge room in there. And nature's already starting to try to take it back over and everything. It's so crazy. This is just one side of it and I'm having to back all the way across the parking lot just to kind of give you an idea of how big this place actually is. Sorry about that, I'm going into water. but. I don't know if you heard that, but it's only been here for 20 years. And yeah, it's been shut down for about a decade, 10 or 15. Yeah, I'm stepping in water there. Let's see if I can give you guys a view of the front of it though. 2009 or 10, it got shut down. It's been shut down ever since until just here recently. So. It was only open for like maybe eight or nine years before they shut it down. Yeah. And then they just recently tried opening it back up and it got shut down again. The dude who bought it back like is with a group that does this stuff like everywhere, like across the country. I really there it is. In all of its massive glory. It's massive, empty glory. <laughs> the largest building in town. Yeah, the largest building. And even it's empty. <laughs> there for at least 15 years. <laughs> because they were selling meth out of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. And like no you one. Said, it's right next to the Hardys. They were selling meth out of the Hardys. But appa <laughs> apparently, it was just not viable financially. Okay guys, doing a final walk around and I kid you not, somebody just fired a shot nearby. 
But I think it was actually the police and it had nothing to do with us, so we're not really worried. Yeah, they, they would have had to have done that on a Sunday afternoon, anybody guess. Yeah, it's just... In the wire. Yeah, it was coming from over that way, and that's the town civic center, and as he was telling me, that actually used to be the center of the town itself. Everybody used to work over here on the side that I've just showed at what's left of this cotton mill. And then the town center was the civic center, and the, it's the you said it's the Y? Yeah. Yeah. They used to be a grocery store right on that corner where there's just a Right over there. Oh, by that old house? No, right over the corner. Mm -hmm. that road that oh, right. oh, okay. That whole corner used to be a uh, grocery store. Huh. Old house. Years and years ago. And, and he was telling me this over here is actually a Masonic store. So we're going to take a walk over here. Yeah, you can see it's all grown up now, but it is. It's a five-point star. You can see the points in the brickwork with all of the benches done. situated in a circle around it. Unless I'm wrong, this would have been done by the bases. Like they would have done it themselves. Yeah. And everything. That's so crazy gonna walk around it. But the original brick they laid is, is all still here. Uh-huh. Sorry about that smoke. It's only been damaged in the past five years. Yeah, we'll totally trade him.